Hey guys, this is your friend Pulkit from Gadget Generations, and today I'm going to bring you a brand new video. Today's video is going to be about the KZPR2. The this is a name we all are familiar with. The tuned by HBB Hawaiian Bad Boy, and uh, one of the cheapest uh, uh, planar magnetic driver IEM that is creating a hype all around the world for its brilliant performance, for its exciting performance. And obviously, man, it is priced at like 50 US dollars and about 4,000 Indian rupees in India. So this is a crazy performing set, but. The title of this video, KZPR2, is all good, but so, but is that that I have find some issue? I found some issues with the KZPR2 over my usage since the past few days, and in this video, I'm going to referring to all those issues, and I will be sharing those with you. First of all, a little bit of pros for the PR2 for some things that I appreciate this pair for about. So we will be beginning with that part. Firstly, you guys should know that I have bought this pair myself for, from Concept Cart India as soon as it was launched in India, and uh, I really appreciate this set. It is a very good sounding pair. It sounds absolutely wonderful. It has an exciting sound for about four thousand Indian rupees for uh, the actual retail price for this set. It is quite detailed and. Uh, has a very fast uh, transient response and uh, every characteristic you might want uh, from a planar magnetic driver IEM. Uh, it fits nicely. It is built nicely and it has uh, uh, as much as I can pray it sounds signature. It would be less because it's a very good sounding set. That is all. That that's all. That completes my pros for this set. Now let's come to the but part. Now let's discuss on the points that I personally consider. Uh, not to be worth it and uh, the issues with the KZPR2 so let's begin on that part now so the main issues that bother me that made me make this video for you guys some troubles that i have faced some issues that i faced with the KZPR2 that might trouble you as well so start there are actually three or main maybe four points for this video so first of all the shell size the shell size of the KZPR2 is slightly on the bigger size it is more than big it is on the thicker side so wearing these as you can see i can get perfect fit with these also case includes these kz starline fitters ear tips in the package which are quite comforting but for my wife it was not comfortable at all since you guys can see that i have medium to large size ears but uh, this pair is not comfortable at all for small sized ears my wife has small sized ears and whenever i like a earphone or headphone i absolutely want her to try it and uh, these were not fitting them at all fitting her at all so first point is the shell size it is slightly on the bigger side secondly the accessories the included cable basically the included cable is not of good quality i had to change it the very first day i actually listened to it to make some notes notes for this video and then i replaced it with this kb ear 4.4 m balance cable and it is better in every regard third and the main point the main but for this video the absurd amount of power that this pair requires why i am mentioning this because man look at the price point the kzpr2 is priced at 4000 indian rupees or like 50 us dollars which is like a beginner's price point a beginner audiophiles are there looking at their next im at this price point and getting the kzpr2 all hyped around and all famous around for its sound performance people are going to grab it but it requires about loads of power while it is not a big problem for me i have shanling m7 with me i have a, a kickass desktop setup but straight out of a smartphone it was not sounding lively at all uh, when it's being driven properly through my shanling m7 i had to push it like 40 to 45 volume out of 100 on a high gain mode while this number doesn't seem a bit uh, big enough uh, consider this for any of the im so far i never had to go on shanling m7 above 20 or 22 on high gain level Maybe for some uh, high-end uh, demanding IMs like Kinera Nana that has a 60 ohm impedance rating. This one has like a uh, uh, low impedance rating but the sensitivity is quite low at 94 decibels. So you need absurd amount of power to make it sound best. So that's there. And fourth and the last point of my butt video is that the pair require the treble on the pair is slightly on the sharper side. Symbols, symbol crashes, claps, flutes. Uh, high notes are slightly on the sharper side yesterday i was listening to red hot chili peppers and uh, it was uh, slightly on uh, tiring me after like 30 or 40 minutes of listening because the uh, the sharpness was there so that's there in the tribal region 
Well, apart from that, the pair sounds quite exciting. It has a lively and detailed presentation. I would appreciate this for that. And it delivers crazy value for money as well. These are just four points that I personally find not to be uh, find to be troubling for me personally. Uh, well, that's it. Now let's move ahead and conclude this video. Thank you. Well, this concludes my review for my video for the KZPR2. Please don't get me wrong with this video. The pair sounds absolutely wonderful. It has a very lively and dynamic sound signature that compels its listeners to listen to the set. It has great technical performance for its price point. It has a very wide and airy sound stage. It has a very detailed presentation for about 4000 rupees. You absolutely get a high res level sound signature for you. But these are some points that uh, people might consider while on uh, the verge of uh, purchasing the PR2. <clears throat> From my side, if you have a decently powerful source, you are good to go with the KZ PR2. I hope you guys enjoy this video of mine. Please don't forget to leave me a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I am regularly making good content related to HiFi audio. Thank you so much.